kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Mail. One lovely morning, friendly Mr. Mail Cat was delivering packages and letters in his mail truck. But something went a little bit wrong. Hey! Wait! Oh, no! Looks like somebody won't be getting their packages at all. I bet they really wanted them, too. Hey, why don't the three of us deliver them? I always thought being a mail cat would be awesome, and here's our chance! We're, We're mail, mail cats! cats. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But the water had smudged the addresses on the packages. How would the kitty cats know who to deliver them to? I've got a great idea! We can guess who the packages are for by studying what the boxes look like. This one is a pretty box, all tied up with a nice ribbon and bow. Now, who likes pretty things? Cupcake, Cupcake does. does. My goodness, it's beautiful. And this one looks like it has a nice warm sweater inside. So it must be for Boris. He's always catching colds. I think there's a black umbrella in this one. And who do we know that loves the color black? Why, Smudge, of course. <laughs> but who is this last package for? Maybe it's gears and bolts for Dart. Or maybe some space gadget for Chase? Let's put the mystery box aside for now. Let's deliver the other ones, all right? The kitty cats delivered Smudge's package first. But it wasn't an umbrella after all. It was a tablet, and it was very, very not black. Oh, it's pink! Yuck! Their next stop was Boris's house to deliver the nice warm sweater. Oh, no. This isn't the hat I wanted at all. I wanted the rainbow-colored one with jingly bells. And Cupcake got the package with the pretty ribbon and bow. Uh, what is this? My head looks like a circus tent. Now we just have to figure out who the last package is supposed to go to. Hey, wait! I didn't order a silly-looking clown hat. I ordered a pink tablet. Then who do you think ordered the silly-looking hat? Well, someone who likes clowns, right? Oh, well, that would be Boris. That looks more like what I wanted. I look just like a real-life funny clown now, right? <laughs> <laughs> You'd never ever see something that black on a clown. But you would see it on Smudge. Hooray! My sweater! Nice and gloomy. It really looks great on you, Smudge. This must be the pink tablet the cupcake was expecting. It's just so pretty. The kitty cats had now delivered all the packages to their rightful owners, except for the mystery box. We should open it up and see what's inside. Then we can figure out just whose it is. I'm not supposed to open someone else's mail. Then how should we handle this? I'm tired of carrying it everywhere. <laughs> huh? Mr. Mail Cat's return was a very welcome sight. Oh, candy, cookie, pudding. A few packages seem to have fallen out of my truck. I don't suppose you three have seen them. Oh, looks like that's one of them. We found your missing boxes. And we delivered them to their rightful owners ourselves. Oh, thanks very much. I was getting a little bit worried they were lost for good. But we couldn't figure out who was supposed to get this package. Well, if the label is blurry, we could check the number on the side. It's package number 125, and here's the address. Let's all deliver some mail! Yay! Well, we're here. Oh, but this is our house. Yep, it surely is. It's also where this package belongs. So you're telling us that we just delivered a package to ourselves? We're, We're mail cats! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the mystery box turned out to be a package of gifts from Grandma. How kind! The three what? kitty cats felt great that they helped deliver joy and happiness to their friends and themselves. Kitty TV. One day, the kittens were waiting anxiously for Daddy to bring home a new TV set as the old one was broken. <gasps> Look, kittens, here's our new TV. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
Right. <laughs> Already. Turn it on. Can I do it? Can I? Ha. <sighs> Huh? Uh, well, what's he saying? Cookie, turn the volume up. Yeah, I'm trying to. Hmm. There's just no sound. It looks like we'll have to return it to the store. It's new, so they'll exchange it. Hmm. There's no need to take it back. I can get it working myself. I just need to get my tools, all right? should work just perfectly. Wow, Daddy must be really smart to be able to fix a TV. Huh? Uh, that's worse, Dad. Well, that's strange. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take it back to the shop and let them repair it. <sighs> Daddy's been gone a long time. Do you guys think the TV doctor is going to fix it? <sighs> I'm sorry, but the set just didn't make it. What if the TV has to wear a bandage for a while? When's it going to be healed? I can't see anything at all. What if it comes back from the shop and still isn't working right, guys? What if it freezes? I, the great Sherlock Holmes, have worked out who stole the golden necklace, and their name is... No, wait, who did it? Who? Or what if it shuts off all by itself? The score is tied in the final seconds of the most dramatic game in the history of the sport, with one final kick. Ah, uh, wait, you gotta be kidding me. Mm -hmm. Daddy! <laughs> but, but Daddy, Daddy where's the, the TV? TV? <laughs> Don't worry, kittens. There was just one little piece broken. They're fixing it, and we can pick it up first thing tomorrow, all right? What? Only tomorrow? But that's such a long time. Yeah, we'll be old and gray by then. Wow, an entire day without TV. Oh, uh, I really miss the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a really good idea. Let's think of all the shows we love to watch on TV and then make them ourselves. Because that way we won't be bored at all. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Attention, please. Show starting now. <laughs> <laughs> so Cookie made a super sports show. <laughs> Pudding made a first rate weather forecast. And then there was a wonderful concert. <laughs> there were even some exciting movies, too. <laughs> the kitty cats and their parents entertained each other with homemade shows all evening and had the best time all together watching their new favorite channel, Kitty TV. Kittens in a jam. Daddy always brought treats home from the candy factory, but today's was special. The candy factory just started making a new kind of yummy cake with special chocolate filling. Awesome! That sounds scrum delicious. Why don't we all give it a try, along with some nice refreshing tea? Mom took the cake into the kitchen to prepare the tea. Something. Please, can we, Mom? All right, sure. You know what would really help me out? If you fetched me the raspberry jam. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The jam jars are on a big shelf down in the cellar. <gasps> the cellar! Mom kept all her pickles, jams, and jellies down in the cellar. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Why are we waiting? 
Let's go! Whoa! I'm okay! Whoa! There's a lot of cool stuff down here. Hey! What do we have here? Oh. Mm. Sour. Very, very sour. Um. Mm -mm. Bleh, this one's too salty. Gotta get rid of this taste. Um. Ah! Oh, mouth on fire! Hot, hot, hot! <sighs> Whoa, I am not tasting anything else down here. We're not here to raid Mom's preserves. We're here to find jam. Right. Mom sent us down here to find some raspberry jam for her. How are we even supposed to find it? The jars all have labels. We just need to find the raspberry one. Mm. This one says cherries. Sour skis! <laughs> Giddy up, little suitcase. <laughs> this one says carrots. Hey, down there. What's this one? Cabbage, it looks like. And this one Those is... Those aren't raspberries. They're super duper hot. Well, of course they're really hot. The label says spicy peppers. Hey, look. There they are. Yeah, that's raspberry. Yay, we found it. But there's no jar with the label. Uh, then what we need to do is find a jar with a missing label, right? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <gasps> yep. Oh, now that's a lot of jam. Now we need to figure out a way to get it up to Mom. But the jar turned out to be really heavy. <gasps> Maybe we could put it on its side and roll it? <laughs> Tell me it didn't break. It's fine. All that's left for us to do is roll it upstairs. That's all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're really helpful helpers. It's almost there. Oh. 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 Great. Now we have to start all over. Well, maybe we could just eat the jam down here. And then go upstairs and drink the tea. Uh. But if you're the other container, how will Mommy and Daddy get any jam? Oh. Oh. Then let's just bring the table down here and all have our tea and cake in the cellar. Excellent plan. I don't think I can wait much longer before I have cake. But the table turned out to be too big. We're going to need a bigger cellar door. We're never going to get tea and jam and cake at all. <laughs> I think I just had a great idea. We should put the table back in the dining room and bring some jam up in this glass. Cookie candy and pudding, my loves. You found the raspberry jam all by yourselves down in the cellar and then had the great idea to bring it upstairs in that cup. Yeah, that beautiful glass of jam is going to look spectacular on the table next to our fancy new cake. We're helpful. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite on their adventure in the cellar, and the raspberry jam and special chocolate cake really hit the spot. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats to visit Granny in the country. Granny! Meow! Oh! Welcome, my little dear ones. You're going to play with us all day, like last time, right? Yeah! Bye-bye, hey. yeah. 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 kittens! Bye-bye! Play, play! play. Uh, we will be having playtime, but first I have to spend a little time taking care of the crops that are growing in my garden. Just look at all the things I've planted. Apples, carrots, strawberries, flowers. And all of them need to be looked after. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's help Granny do her gardening. That way she'll be done with her work sooner and have extra time to play with us. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Put your paws up if you're having lots of fun. Cheer up, kitties. After this, we get to pull all the weeds out of the garden and water all the flowers. If we do all that, we won't have time to play. Look, maybe we should skip something, like scraping this dirt around. But digging the soil is very important. We can only plant potatoes in loose soil. Doesn't work any other way. Have to loosen the soil, or you might as well plant your potatoes in concrete, which is impossible, by the way. <laughs> Skip the part where we
we pull all the weeds out? But weeds can mess up the look of the whole flower bed. Imagine if your mommy decided to just stop cutting her hair. Before you know it, her hair would completely take over. Ha! My darling, huh? Oh. Ah, oh, no. ah. oh. <laughs> but what if we, um, just, uh, wait until next time it rains instead of watering everything now? But plants need water every single day, just like us. What if your daddy decided he'd wait for it to rain before he took his next shower, huh? Yay! <laughs> All clean. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, looks like plants really count on us to help them live their lives. We have to take care of the plants. It's the right thing to do. I'm going to march right into that flower bed and get rid of all the weeds. And me and Pudding will take care of the soil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kitten Made Rainstorm time. Would you like a nice drink, Mr. Apple Tree? The carrots are taking a shower. Now your leaves are so clean, strawberries. This will help all the flower buds to open up. The kitty cats got so involved in helping with the garden, they forgot all about playtime. Almost. Phew. You're such good helpers. Well, now that the garden work's all done, is it playtime? Uh, sure, yeah. Why don't we play the harvest game? Is it a really fun game? Ah, uh, it's tons of fun, and it's helpful as well. <laughs> Granny and the kitty cats had a great time collecting all the crops and washing them with cool, clean water. And now it's time to taste all that we gathered. That sounds great. We could really use a break from the game. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I love strawberries so much. Um, it's all because of your hard work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're the world's best brand mm -hmm. kittens. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh. <sighs> well, you must have played really hard all day to get this tired. Yes, I don't think any bedtime stories will be needed tonight. Bring them back any time and maybe stay yourself. There's a few games I'd love to see you playing. Oh, yeah, like that game you taught me, Paint the Barn. And what was that other one, Chopping Firewood? <laughs> I've got a great idea for a new game. Who will fall asleep first? Oh, I win. <laughs> the kitty cats had gathered a delicious harvest and had an absolutely wonderful day. Treehouse! One day, Daddy was building a birdhouse with the kitty cats. Now that is a mighty fine birdhouse. Just need to find a tree to hang it in. <laughs> there, lucky bird. I always wanted to live in a tree house when I was a kitten. Would the three of you like to have a tree house? Wouldn't it be just wonderful to have your own special place high up above everything? Sweet. Meow. Oh, wow. Wouldn't having a real treehouse be great? My friends could come and visit it. We could all play games in it. Well, all right, then. Looks like I'm going to build a treehouse for my wonderful kids. All right. What should your treehouse look like? Like a princess's castle with a tower. Mm-hmm. And with an awesome slide. Mm-hmm. And a super cool ladder to climb up. All right, then. I'll build a strong treehouse with a slide and a tower and a super cool ladder for climbing up. Just like so. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy and the kitty cats gathered everything they might need to build the lovely treehouse. <clears throat> <sighs> Thanks very much for your help, children, but I've got it from here. Just back off a safe distance. A construction site is no place for kids. <laughs> Oops. How oh, fooey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and come on! It turned out building the treehouse wasn't as easy as Daddy thought. Oh. We've got to figure out a way to help him. We should make him.
him a pair of really big wings. Then he could fly while he builds it, like a birdie. Tweet, tweet. But how will Daddy be able to hammer any nails if he has to flap his arms the whole time? Right. Now, hammer, flap, 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 hammer, flap, hammer. Plus, he'd get so tired. So, worn out. Then why doesn't he build the treehouse down here and then put it up in the tree when it's finished? <laughs> but how is he going to lift up a whole house? He's not super cat. <laughs> Hey, I've got a really great idea. We just need to ask Smudge's dad to come and help him. He's a construction worker with his very own crane. <laughs> Smudge and his dad were happy to come and help. Meow! When something needs to be lifted up, we yell higher. Higher! And if it needs to be lower, we yell lower. You got that? Lower! Higher! Lower! <laughs> so, thanks to everybody's hard work, the treehouse was finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Happy treehouse warming! Cupcake Boris and Chase had made a banner for the new treehouse. Kittens, are you familiar with our best housewarming tradition? What, what tradition, tradition is, is that? that? A new home must be full of happy children having fun. <laughs> so get in there and play. Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> having their own treehouse was a wonderful thing. But having it full of laughing friends was even better. Daddy daycare. One day, Mommy was getting ready to go and visit her friend. Daddy will be taking over for me today. So try to be good, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What exactly does that mean? Dad taking over from Mom? Will he put on a pink dress and grow his hair all fluffy and curly? Huh? Oh. Hey. Oh. Ow. Ow. Hey. Oh. Ow. 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 <laughs> or will he try to take all of Mommy's fitness classes at the gym? <laughs> None of that. What it means is that instead of Mommy taking care of us, it'll be Daddy. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, wake up! Yay! Hey! You're Mommy, Daddy, all day long! Uh, yeah, all right. Come with Mommy, Daddy. Daddy made the kitty cats their favorite eclairs. That's so good. It's so much better than porridge. It's nice when Daddy fills up for Mommy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ah! And now let's watch TV for a while. Oh! as we enter the 38th hour of the Snow Geese Migration live stream. Um, Dad, don't you have some other things to do? Uh, wait, what? If you're really supposed to be doing what Mommy does, uh, then you should make lunch. And wash all the clothes. And then vacuum the entire house. Uh, does Mommy really do all that? Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> The kitty cats turned on their favorite pirate show, while Daddy made pizza for lunch instead of Mommy, and put all the dirty laundry in the washing machine, and tried his best to vacuum the carpets. These effects are great. You can practically smell smoke for real every time they fire their cannons. That's not the show. Something's on fire. Whoa, what's that about? The laundry room is filling up with bubbles, guys. 
Um, Mom? Wait, it's not Mom, it's Daddy! Daddy! Now what? Oh. oh. There's something burning in the kitchen. Oh. And the laundry room's blowing bubbles. Oh, gosh. Stop! 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 Oh, oh, the pizza! Oh, hot, 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 hot! <laughs> oh, I'm such a dummy. With the cleaning and the washing, I let the pizza burn. Mom's chores are a whole lot harder to do than they look, huh? This will make Mommy so upset. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Since the chores are really hard, we should help Daddy with them. With the kitty cat's help, Daddy managed to get everything done properly. <sighs> Mommy, yeah, you're, you're back! back. <laughs> Meow, have you been watching TV this entire time? No, Mom. We helped Daddy clean all the dirty clothes. And vacuum stuff. And cook the yummy pie, too. Super Daddy, you not only kept the kittens entertained, but you did all of the housework? <laughs> Oh, well, isn't that what you'd expect from an excellent daddy like me? It was like daddy had turned into mommy. Everybody had to help me be mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I must have turned into your daddy, because he never comes home without something yummy with him. Strawberries, yay! So, so awesome! awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy and the kitty cats had a fun day pretending to be mommy. But everyone was so happy when the whole family was together again. Chessmates! One day, Pudding took his chessboard with him to the playground. Cookie, would you like to play chess with me? Not really, Pudding. It's boring playing with you because you always win. Hey, Candy, do you want to play? I don't know how. Oh, great. I want to become a brilliant chess player, but I can't practice with anyone. Hey! Pudding, we could ask one of our friends to play a game of chess with you. How about that? Hey, yeah, we'll find you somebody great to play with for sure. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The first friend to agree to play chess with Pudding was Cupcake. But Cupcake, why are you only moving your horsey? That piece is called a knight, you know. I like to move it because it's the prettiest. There, checkmate. You lost, Cupcake. Well, so what? I'm going to find some ribbons. The next player was Smudge. I get to be black if I'm going to play. Ha! I just took your pawn. And hey, I just took your knight. I took another pawn. And checkmate. Huh? I win again. Oh, already? It was turning out that finding a good chess player wasn't easy. I'll move there. No, wait, there. Or there. Or how about there? Oh, sorry. I'm going to move a different one, all right? Mustard, uh, 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 uh. I took your bishop. What? Oh. I loved that bishop so much. Uh, he was my favorite uh. piece in the whole game. <laughs> I'm not playing. But finally, Smart Dart came along to play chess with Pudding. Huh. Believe it or not, I have never played chess before. Wow. wow! What? We were all sure that you'd be a chess expert. So Pudding explained to Dart how the different pieces move in chess. Why is the horse only allowed to move like that? Why can't he gallop all over the board? Why can the king only move one space at a time while the queen can go all over? Well, uh, those are just the rules of the game. Nah, sorry. Chess is definitely not for me. But with no one to help me practice, I'll never be a cool chess champion. I'll never win any cups at all. <laughs> win cups? Hey, remember? Doesn't Daddy have chess trophies on the shelves in his office? Yeah. Daddy must be pretty good at playing chess pudding. Um, well, checkmate. Huh? Huh? 
<laughs> really nice job, Pudding. <laughs> How could he beat you that fast? You're a champion. Look at all the chess trophies you've got. <laughs> oh, they aren't mine. They're your mother's. Why, she played chess back in school and she won all the competitions because she was the very best. Ha! I have a really good idea. We need to call Mom now. Wow, that was great! Yay! Well, Pudding, that was a really good game. It looks like our family might contain the future champion of the world. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy surprised everyone by baking a honey glazed chess set cake. <laughs> well, your daddy might not be a chess champion, but he's a dessert <laughs> master. Check. Bang me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Pudding found a worthy opponent, and Daddy invented a wonderful new treat for tea time. Doctors! One day, Mom and Dad gave Cookie, Candy, and Pudding a lovely present to play pretend with. Look what we have for you, kittens. Wow. A doctor set. A thermometer. Bandages, too. Doctor's hats. All the things you'll need to start your very own pretend doctor's office. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'll be the doctor. No, I want to be the doctor. Me too. Well, if all of us are going to be doctors, where are we going to find the patients? We'll get all of our friends to be patients. <laughs> The three kitty cats' first patient was Cupcake. Now, what seems to be the problem? Something's sort of wrong with my tail. It just doesn't seem to be quite beautiful enough. Right, no problem. I can just snip off the old one and sew on a beautiful peacock's tail instead. Simple. <laughs> I don't need a whole nother tail. I want a second opinion. Right. Um, well, I'm not hearing anything. Shall I wake it up with the hammer? Stop that! We should just wrap the tail in some bandages. Okay, as long as they're pretty. <laughs> Thanks, doctors. Hope you feel better, madam. And remember that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now that Cupcake was feeling better, it was time for the three doctors to visit Chase. It certainly was a very windy walk for the kittens. <laughs> now what seems to be the problem? Doctor, I think I'm turning into an alien. I can even talk like one. <laughs> Aha! You seem to have alien fever. Then we have just what you need. Eat some of this cosmic better berry jelly. Cures all alien sickness. <sighs> but looks like I ate all the jelly. That's all right, because we can just give you a jelly jab instead. You'll feel like an earthling again in no time, unless it turns you into a watermelon. Or a watering can. <laughs> No, no, I don't want a jelly jam. Calm down, sir. For being such a good patient, I have this jelly lolly for you. And please be sure to get some rest. Oh. I already feel better. So Chase was feeling better, too. Our little doctor still had bores to fix up, so they ran through the rain to their patient. Hi. What's bothering you, sir? Well, the problem is that I get really, really sad on rainy days when the sky is gray. Maybe we need to curl your whiskers. No, not my whiskers. It's really kind of my tummy that's hurting. Oh, sure. <laughs> sounds weird. <laughs> yep, sounds like you've swallowed a propeller. No, I think it's something even bigger. <laughs> that's your tummy pudding because you scarfed up all that jelly. Huh? Hey, you're right. It's coming from mine. <laughs> <laughs> Your tummy will be good as new after you have some tea and oat cakes. And this book about clowns will cheer you up. Oh, I've always thought clowns were awesome. I really love their red noses. Goodness, your noses are really red. Huh? 
Bobby! We helped all our patients. I just... <laughs> oh, you're all soaking wet. Kittens, get these wet hats off of your heads, and then it's straight to bed. Drink up this nice lemon tea and then sleep so you won't get sick. After a lovely night's sleep, the kittens felt great. <sighs> Good morning. <sighs> Did you call a doctor? I brought you oranges to start your day right. And I've brought some marbles so we can all play. And I brought a joke to cheer you up. <laughs> <laughs> and what doctor's office would be complete <laughs> without a speedy ambulance? Oh, I'm an ambulance. <laughs> What's an ambulance sound like again? Like, like this. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens loved playing doctors, but they loved even more having tons of healthy energy to play with their friends. Writing stories. One day, Candy, Cookie, and Pudding wanted their daddy to read them a book. I want a lovely princess book. But one with lots of pirates. Also with lots of mushrooms. Right, that's one princess <sighs> book, one about pirates, <sighs> and an encyclopedia of <sighs> mushrooms. I don't want to hear another book about a princess. I mean, not really. Well, I don't want to hear another book about pirates. But the mushroom book's good, right? Oh, oh no, not, not that, that again. again. You guys need to get together and write a book of your own that has a princess, pirate, and uh, mushrooms. We're going to be real writers! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! We'll come up with a story, guys. And Daddy will write it up for uh, us. Hey! Oh. But it turned out writing books isn't easy. Well, why aren't we writing? Hey! Uh. Meh. Ah, got it! Huh? Uh, nah. It seems like we're not coming up with anything. You need inspiration to write a really good book. Inspiration? Well, inspiration is when you haven't got any ideas, then one just pops in your head. Oh! I've got an idea! Deep in the woods. I've got one. We I start in the moon, and there's a really space out there, but he's a mushroom bag thingy with a fungus monkey and... Stop! That won't work at all. Only one of you needs to start. Then let someone else take over. Daddy's right, guys. I'll start then. Deep in the woods, there stood a beautiful... Mushroom! Right? Not right. A castle. The home of a clever princess. She sat in her tower and looked around. Princess sat and looked around. <laughs> Pretty good opening. My turn. Then suddenly the castle was attacked by... Mushrooms! <laughs> Not mushrooms, pudding. Pirates. Uh, okay then. Yo-ho! The pirates picked up the castle and took it with them on their ship. And then the princess looked out of her window and saw a giant... Mushroom! Uh, ocean shroom. Yeah! Come on. Why would there be an... Ocean Shroom. You guys got your princesses and pirates, so why can't I have mushrooms? <laughs> All right, what am I putting then? So what's my family doing? Ha! Huh, your kitties have decided to become riders. We're looking for something cool and awesome to attack our pirate ship. We need something really good. Ha! Huh, sounds fun. Could you open this? <clears throat> you could use some sort of giant... <clears throat> oh, a mushroom maybe. <laughs> Mom, that's exactly what I said. Huge mushroom wants to sink the ship. <laughs> Left turn, matey. Now right turn, matey. Left turn. Right turn. Left turn. Right turn. Beware! <laughs> Here comes the giant mushroom. <laughs> Pirates prepare to repel the giganto shroom. Oh. <clears throat> But the mushroom had a giant metal helmet, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, I have a really good idea. Uh, we should beat the giganta shroom by boiling it, like in soup, right? Because boiled mushrooms couldn't hurt a ship at all. Then the pirates defeated the terrible mushroom. And then made friends with a clever princess. And they went on to have awesome adventures together on the sea. The end. 
A mushroom princess pirate tale. <laughs> it's such a good story. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I can almost smell the mushroom boiling. That's mushroom soup that you smell. My little writers, it's lunchtime. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And after their yummy lunch, Daddy printed out a copy of The Princess, the Pirate, and the Giant Mushroom of the Sea, written by the Kitty Cats. Packing a bag. One day, Daddy said he had to go on a business trip to another city. Look at my train ticket, everyone. It leaves at 3 o'clock. I'm going to a big baking conference. Oh, that's wonderful and exciting, my darling. Oh, there's not much time. I need to get you all packed up. <laughs> Look, they're running everywhere like crazy. Well, of course, because it's very important work to pack for a business trip. You have to make sure to remember everything you might need. Then let's help Daddy with packing his stuff. That way he won't forget anything too important. Let's, let's help, help him! Me-wow, 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 me-wow! All right, what does Dad need to take with him? Washing stuff, right? Toothbrush, <laughs> towel, shower cap, soap, and bath sponge? Hair dryer! <laughs> we have to remember to pack this, too. The rubber ducky Daddy always takes his baths with. Right, and now we need some eating and sleeping stuff. First, he'll need some things to cook his dinner with. And some plates and forks, spoons and cups, a pillow. And a kettle, just in case he wants to make tea. And with tea, you need jam, raspberry or strawberry. Why not pack both? Goodness, I almost forgot the napkins. He'll need warm clothes like sweaters and scarves in case it gets cold. And an umbrella in case it rains. And flippers in case he wants to swim. And an air mattress wrap for floods. Oh, 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 oh. Great. What else now? The kitty cats thought very hard about all the things Daddy might need. Now we need to pack it all into suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. All that was left to do was to close up the suitcases. Are we moving, kittens? We packed for Daddy. He's completely ready to go. Oh, wow. That's very sweet, my darlings. But uh, isn't it a bit much for a two-day trip? Uh... Oh! I have a really good idea. We should take out what you might not need and leave only the things that you really have to take. It turned out all the things Daddy really needed fit into his briefcase. Now I'm all ready to go. Oh, wow, there's just a half hour till the train leaves. I'll just grab my ticket. Uh, oh, 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 my whiskers. I lost my ticket. Right, just stay calm. Now, kittens, let's search for Daddy's ticket. Thanks, but now it's too late. My train just left. I guess no business trip for me. Oh, no. And we worked so hard to get you packed up. <laughs> hmm. It's good that his packing is done with plenty of time to spare, because your train really doesn't leave until tomorrow, darling. What? It looks like you just mixed up the dates. Oh, yes, I did. Goodness, I'm silly. Then Daddy gets to take his business trip after all? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Since Daddy was already all ready for his trip, he didn't have to rush, so he had plenty of time for a lovely evening with the kittens.